So I just got done volunteering at the Holiday Boutique at my daughter's school, and I have a couple of things that I just want to put out there. So number one, if your kids have a Holiday Boutique at their school and you don't give them money to buy things there, please don't feel bad. So let me just start out by saying that I have always wondered how the teachers manage when they have, you know, a bunch of kids in the class who have money for these things like the holiday boutiques or the school store or the snack sale and some kids who may not have money for those things. I always pictured that, you know, it must be really tough and it must be hard on them to try to explain to the kids why some kids have money and some don't and that the kids must feel bad. They're fine. I promise you. Every class had a few kids who weren't given money and they just came in with the rest of the class and they did window shopping and they just looked around, they played, everybody was laughing, everyone was having a good time. Nobody seemed to care, nobody seemed to be upset. So if you can't give your kids money this year, you just don't want them wasting money on the junk that they sell at these holiday boutiques and you'd rather have them buy gifts somewhere else or make gifts for their family members. Please don't feel bad and know that your kids will be just fine. Now that brings me to the second thing that I witnessed when I was there. So I'm sure this is different in every school, but at our school this year, what they did for this holiday boutique is that they sent a form home that had basically the names of various family members. So it said mom, dad, brother, sister, aunts, uncles, grandparents, dog. And then there were price ranges for each family members. It said, you know, under $2, 2 to $4, 4 to 6 6 to 8 or 8 plus. And basically the parents write down who they want their kids to buy gifts for and which price range for each person. So that's great. It was very helpful rather than sending in your kid with a certain amount of money and just having them decide on the spot who they want to buy gifts for. I think that would have taken a lot more time and would have been a lot harder for all of the mom volunteers that were there. And it was pretty easy to help the kids figure out what they could buy for each family member for the amount of money that they had in their envelope. But please be mindful about the amount of money that you put in and the amount of people that you want your child to buy for. $20 is a lot of money. That's, that's a lot of money to spend at a school store. But not if you're going to write down 18 people's names. That means I have to find 18 gifts for one kid's family all for one dollar maybe one gift for two dollars that means all your aunts and uncles and cousins and grandpas and grandma and friends and whoever else you put in that list is getting a sticker or a tiny bouncy ball actually no the bouncy ball was two dollars you're better off giving your kids six dollars or eight dollars and just having them buy for their siblings or just for their grandparents so it's not about the amount of money that you give them but just the amount relative to how many people you want them to buy gifts for Anyway, times are tough right now, so do whatever works for your family and trust me, your kids will be just fine.